people. And another thing that people can do is if you run a successful business using free software, write an article for a magazine. We call these case studies. And people say, oh, you know, I read a case study that sounds almost like my business. They're using free software. I think I can use free software. And if, or if you work for a customer and you get them to be using free software, write an article about it for the magazines. And, you know, if, as we build these up, there'll be more and more people that will say, wow, more and more people using this free software successfully. And this is what it did for their company. It saved them money or it allowed them to do something that they couldn't possibly have done. So in my talks, a lot of times, I talk about companies in Brazil that use free software. And it isn't just because they saved money by using free software. It's because they could do their job better. In fact, one company probably could not have existed at all except for free software because the software they needed only worked in English and they only spoke Portuguese. So by having software that was that did the same thing, developed rights as free software that prompted in Portuguese, this little company could exist. So these are some of the things you can do to try and get more free software. Go to your schools. You know, these are the schools of your children. Go to your schools and convince them that free software is what they should be using. And say to them, when you, when you, when you use proprietary software, you learn what the proprietary software does, but you do not learn how it does it. When you use free software, you learn twice what the software does and how it does it. And this is very important for the students to learn. So convince the schools that they should be using free software. Help them install it, even if it's dual booting on systems. Set up some thin clients for them so that it's easier for them to administer all of the software. And put them in touch with people who could give support for them over the long term. These are ways that you can help to promote free software. Okay. Events, like you said, uh, install fest in Santos, Sao Paulo, uh, free sol three times, three years, uh, free sol. And, but uh, we, uh, we press in Brazil don't understand nothing about technology, including press specialized in technology. And uh, these events, I can't see nothing about Latino Air in any, any newspaper or magazine popular. No, no one knows about the Latino Air, popular people. Well, this is a shame because most of the magazines, like popular PC magazines, have a calendar and they're very happy to uh, at least put the dates of your event and your URL in the calendar as a service to their readers. Some of the magazines will even have little blocks of free advertising space that are not used by other companies. And they'll say, yes, we'll contribute this to you and you do the artwork and everything and we will contribute to space in our printed magazine. Um, it, it, does, it does take effort to do marketing. There are, I don't know in Brazil, but in the United States we have this thing called public radio. It is funded by contributions of people to the radio so that there are no advertisements. However, they do allow people to come on who are doing public works types of things and talk about them. So when I get back to the United States, there's a very nice gentleman who I said, I can do a show for you about how businesses can use free software to run their business and they will either make money or save money or have a better product. And he said, I'm very interested in that. So it'll take a little bit of my time to go and do this radio broadcast, but then Millions of people will hear it because millions of people listen to public radio. 
So it's, it takes effort to go out and think about and reach out to these different magazines because they're like everybody else. They're, they don't have the time to reach out to you. You have to reach out to them. And if they say, I'm sorry, we're not going to publish your article in there, well, you say, okay, fine. You know, and you go on to the next one. Uh, como uma última questão, uh, Melhor, nós vamos falar, uh, queria perguntar para você, Uh, sobre a geração de empregos aqui no Brasil uh, e como é que o governo acha, como é que você acha que o governo está lidando com isso e como é que você acha que isso poderia ser uh, uh, levado à frente? Ok, well, first of all, I'd like to correct something, and, and this is pointed out by one of my directors or my board of directors, that it's probably more like one to two million new jobs instead of two to three million. So we don't want to overset people's expectations, but still, One to two million jobs is a lot. And particularly because we would like as much as possible to take these jobs from people who are on welfare and make them into taxpayers. So this helps the government out by removing people from the welfare system and creating jobs. But the way this happens is if you take a look at large cities, you see that there are tall office buildings and there are tall apartment buildings and there's very dense neighborhoods, way more dense than in the United States or other or, or European cities. And you see that there's, if you could somehow bring the internet to these people and then create a bubble, a wireless bubble, that perhaps you could bridge the gaps where the internet isn't wirelessly. I started thinking about that and I started thinking about thin clients and how they can reduce electrical utilization or electrical usage uh, for desktop computer systems. And that's very important because if we don't do that and we give another 140 million computers to Brazilians that do not have them, then we're going to need another four Itupu power plants to drive them even if those computers only use 200 watts of power apiece. So that's a very big problem. You, you, need, you need, basically, for every one watt of electrical power you need to drive a computer, you need another watt to cool it. And so it's 70 million computers at 200 watts apiece is 14 gigawatts of electrical power, which is Itupu. So you, for, for 140 million computers, it's two I2 poos to drive them and two I2 poos to cool them. <laughs> and you don't have the space. So the idea here is to reduce the amount of power that those systems use and therefore be able to supply everybody in Brazil with a desktop computer that meets their needs at the same electrical utilization you have today. But to do that, you need server systems. And these server systems will actually be doing a lot of the computing power of these individual desktop systems. And to take care of them, we want to have a systems administrator who would take care of them. And the systems administrator would install new software, they would get rid of viruses, they would uh, handle spam, they would give classes to the users to show them how to use it. They would do all these things and they would be paid a salary every month by the users of the computers to do this work for them, thereby freeing the users up to just using their computer, not have to worry about all these things. And I figured out a financial plan of doing that, which basically works out of a capitalistic way of borrowing the money, buying the equipment, installing it, selling the time and services to people that really needs no money from the government. It's just an ever recycling of that money and to buying new equipment, to paying it off, to giving out another loan. And because all of this is going to be published, how to do this, how to approach your customers to say, would you like to buy this? How to go to the bank to get the loan? You know, how to get the certification you need and everything. Anybody could just go to the website, follow the instructions, and do it. And we feel that if, if we, we set this up, that there's a lot of people that would like to have this job, 
and would be willing to go out and do the work of finding people who would like to have the services and then signing them up and going and get the money and install the equipment. This would be their job. This would be their business. So if we make this comp 